Welcome to Xtrafic. This video is for quick revision for your Huffield examination. In Kamrup Metro, tomorrow computer science is there, means elective subject is there. So let's have a quick revision on the syllabus. You will record for exam chapter 1, 4, 5, 6 and 7. First let's come to chapter 1. Chapter 1, there are too many questions, we have to go through the chapter, generally for one word, uh, one word question or fill in the blanks or MCQ, there we cannot give any common questions, anything can become from the book. So you have to read the chapter properly, then you can answer any type of questions. For long answers, you can uh, learn or you can see these questions, find the difference between plan, man and when. It's already in book point wise. You can easily see from there. Difference between hub and switch. See at least two two points for each. IPv4 and IPv6 also important. You can write either point wise or you can write paragraph wise. Then uh, different networking command. Sometimes it will come just one single command. Sometimes can't like uh, for long questions. So better if you read about all the commands. Host name. This define the name of the computer pin it's verify the connectivity between two computers ARP it is an address resolution protocol which uh, make a map between device MAC addresses and IP addresses then what is host uh, why host name can uh, host name cannot be used as unique identifier because it can be changed by anyone at any time and also multiple hosts can have same name which can give us conflict for that reason, we cannot use it as an unique identifier. I have already shared the type of this type of answers many times, so I will not again write the answers now. Then, what is MAC address? So, these uh, questions you can see for long questions, and I am not sure that only these questions will come from this chapter. There might be some other question as well. So, these are very much important ones which cannot be ignored by any person who is setting the paper. Chapter 4, here there are no many, not many inside questions, directly some direct questions are there that you can go through it, like what is a loop, explain different type of loop, different, uh, then uh, what the, what are the different types of loop, this while loop, do while loop and uh, for loop, syntax for each one you can see, while loop syntax, do while loop syntax and for loop syntax. And difference between while and do while, difference between entry control and exit control. And here remember, while and for is entry control and do while is exit control. In entry control, the condition is checked before. If it is satisfied, then only statements are executed. And exit control, conditions are checked at the end of the loop and statements are executed before. That's why even if the condition is false, it can execute at least once. This is the uniqueness of do while loop. Remember it, do while can execute at least once even if it is false. Then different part of for loop. For loop have three parts, initialization, test expression and update expression. Remember that one and uh, programs you can see prime number. It's already in your book, the last page. Extracting digits. This is also in your book only and summation of the digits and you can see that uh, summation program sum of n numbers uh, there are uh, I think chapter 4 in exercise the last question there are like uh, 1 square plus 2 square and 1 is 1 cube plus 2 cube these three questions you can see uh, all are same just one line will be changed according to the question question is uh, answer is same only so you can see that question even I will give the answer in sorts you can see there now let's come to chapter 5, it is nested loop, here also there are very less theory questions and from this, this chapter you will have question for just 4 mark I hope. Here you can see what is a nested loop, why do we use it, then syntax of the nested loop, syntax you can write this way, I am opening notepad, there I will write and show you, you already have in book I hope. So if you write the syntax it will be like that loop. 1 bracket inside loop 1 one more loop will come loop 2 then again bracket 
and inside loop 2 statements then loop 2 bracket will close and here loop 1 bracket will close so this is called as nested loop uh, this is the syntax of nested loop and here this is outer loop and inside this loop 2 is called as inner loop so remember the loop which contain another loop it is called outer loop and the loop which is written inside an loop it is called inner loop you remember it and also you can give this example to justify your answer now let's uh, not save the document and uh, programs you can see that one this pattern is very much important one one two one one two three two one this program is a bit confusing but still if you practice then I hope you can write and this one two two three four this this is easier than the first one and also you can see in book uh, exercise questions are there diamond shape is there double triangle is there you can go through that programs also they are similar this uh, loops are going little here and there but the program is similar so if you know to write one program then definitely easily will be able to write the another one now let's come to array here uh, you have to read the chapter thoroughly because there are too many questions you have to read uh, everything like uh, array index start at zero what is array index what is array element what is base of an array I think I have already shared the short questions in some videos so you can go through it you can get these answers as well and exercise question this you can see what is an array why do we use it what are the limitations of array why do uh, how do we declare an array what is an string array what are the what is the header file required for each string dot h is required for it and what is the last character of string array it's null character so remember, remember this type of questions chapter 6 you have to read so that you can answer the short questions and program you can see from exercise one question is there like uh, declare an array of size 7 and input and display the output that one you can see and one you can see that copy one like you will declare two array you will take input in the first one and you will display the second one means you will copy the first array element into the second one and you will display the second one and also one string array one this one like uh, you will input your name or your mother name or school name and you will display both the strings separately so this you can see for array next function chapter here also there are too many questions inside you can go truly like what is function what is an uh, argument what is parameters uh, what is void function there are too many questions uh, you have to read the, the chapter thoroughly then only you can answer the short questions from here and for long questions you can see this what is a function why do we use function in a program explain different type of function what are different parts of a function different color colleague and uh, what is recursive function this all you can see i hope uh, definitely you will get some common question from here and programs you can see from function like a uh, square of a number by using function and summation of a number using recursive function this summation and factorial of a number they are similar just instead of multiply you will have to use plus sign in summation and mul uh, in factorial of a number you have to give multiply sign both the programs are similar and factorial of a number already given in book you can uh, see there so these are some important question from uh, for your half yearly examination I hope you will do well in examination and if you still have any confusion in some questions if you are not able to find the answers or if you don't have any idea how to write that particular answer you can write in comment section or you can join in telegram channel there also you can write we are active there and also you can join recent, uh, whatsapp channel also whatsapp i'm not that much active but still if uh, we'll have much follower then definitely i'll be active there also so you can ask your doubt or any questions which you are not able to solve definitely i'll try to solve even if i am not able to solving it some other user are there definitely they will solve your problem so thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye